Chase Vaughn Johnson here, and you're watching the All Bets Are Off podcast for their top five underrated horror films for the Halloween season. Number one, I've got The Willies, Castle Freak, Exorcist 3, criminally underrated, People Under the Stairs, and lastly, The Monster Club. Check them out. Guys, it's Leonora Shalfo, the bitch cheerleader from the first screen, and I'm making a special video for my friend Robbie, my top five horror movies for spooky season. Are you ready? All right. Number five. We definitely have to be Rosemary's Baby. I know it's not a popular one. John Cassavetes. If you know, you know. Number four. We definitely be Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. If you haven't seen that, Joan Crawford, Betty Davis, are you even really a human being? Number three, definitely Friday the 13th. I snuck into that theater and watched it as a little kid. Couldn't get enough. And by the way, I have two brothers named Jason. Don't ask. Number two, without a doubt, is Halloween. My mother snuck us into the theater when I was six years old in Marina Del Rey. I thought we were going to see a Disney movie. And as the Disney movie started, she said, come on kids, we're going. I was confused and opened the door and the Halloween music was playing. But number one, for my absolute worst horror film that I can't watch that actually traumatized me, is When a Stranger Calls. I saw that movie in Westwood, and the actual killer was in the theater. All right, guys. Well, here's the spooky season. Mwah! Love you all. Hey, what's up? It's Alex, and this is the All Bets Are Off podcast. My top five favorite horror movies are The Shining, Psycho, Barbarian, Friday the 13th Part 3, and, of course, Terrifier 2. All right, it's your boy, the big swag, Kipper Kill Leatherface from the 2003 remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, this is for the Halloween special for All Bets Are Off. Uh, let me give you five movies you need to see. Uh, one, and this, come of the, some of these are going to be uh, sleepers that you might not have heard of. Uh, Steak Land, S-T-A-K-E, Steak Land. Really cool uh, new vampire deal that came out a few years ago. Great movie. Part two is okay, but part one you got to see. Same people did a movie called Late Phases, P-H-A-S-E-S, -E uh, Werewolves in a Retirement Community. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, of course, uh, Shockwaves, which some of you may have never heard of, Shockwaves with Peter Cushing. Nazi Zombies, love it. Uh, 1978, Dawn of the Dead. And then, of course, a movie I was in that if you haven't seen it, it's, it is great. The Crazies with Timothy Oliphant and the Big Schwag. There you go! Five you should see. See ya. Hey everyone, it's Katie Arquette, the queen of the silver screen and the leading lady of the production. I wanted to chime in and give my all-time top five favorite horror slash Halloween movies. So wanted to kick it off with first and foremost, Scream. If you don't know who Ghostface is, that is a problem but you want to focus on the original trilogy. Scream 4 is nothing to really write home about, but anything after that brings its new perspective and it's definitely worth checking out, but my all-time favorite, the first Scream trilogies. Another one that's really great is Chucky. If you've never seen Chucky, he will be in your nightmares. And no, I'm not talking about Freddy either. Chucky is someone that is a live doll who is killing everyone and trying to obsess a child. So, Definitely check it out. It's definitely a horror flick. Another one of my all-time favorites is Saw. If you have not seen the Saw franchise, you are truly missing out. Of course, if you're not into all the gore and blood and guts, might not be the best option, but I highly recommend the first one. I believe there are eight. Definitely check them out. And if not, definitely watch the first one. It is a classic. Another one of my all-time favorites is From Dusk Till Dawn. I'm a big vampire goober. I love them so much. Um, and Tarantino is one of my favorite directors, and he also stars in it. So if you're looking for some old-fashioned 90s vampire gore and grunge, this is definitely one to check out, especially since George Clooney's in it. One of my last time and all-time favorites is 
The Little Vampire. This is a home to my heart type of movie. And if you've never seen it, I highly recommend. Again, it's about vampires, but it's a little boy who's discovering a best friend who happens to be a vampire and is trying to get him and his family back home. So if you've never seen it, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a little tearjerker or something to laugh at after all the blood and guts. Thank you so much for listening and I hope it was enjoyable. Thanks. Hey everybody, it's me, Lauren Marie Taylor from Friday the 13th Part 2 and most recently, In a Violent Nature. So, here are my five favorite horror movies for Robbie Vegas's All Bets Are Off podcast Halloween special. Really hard to pick, by the way, because there is so much awesomeness and horror spanning many, many decades, but I tried to pare it down for him and here they are. Number one, and these are in no particular order, Get Out. Jordan Peele directed this amazing performances, lots of twists and turns. Next one is Midsummer. All these aesthetically beautiful people doing strange things, including getting themselves killed. Next up is Hereditary with my girl, Toni Collette. Amazing performance, really creepy movie. Who can forget one of our favorites here at home, The Shining with my guy, Jack Nicholson, and of course, the legendary Shelley Duvall, along with Scatman Crothers, don't forget him. And finally, we have a very young Killian Murphy running around naked and rampant in 28 Days Later. <laughs> Just saying, they do that throughout the entire movie and I couldn't help myself. Anyway, have fun everybody, happy Halloween and butter up your popcorn. And I am your host, Robbie Vegas, and my five underrated horror picks are the horror comedy Serial Mom, uh, Tales of Halloween, gotta love that one, 2001 Maniac starring Robert England, uh, Chopping Mall, and of course Hatchet starring Kane Hodder. So check those out and uh, hit the subscribe button here, guys, and I thank you all for being here and watching this special, and thank you for uh, all of our celebrity and special guests that came on to participate as well.